Yo, 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 what's up everybody? Alex Pandrea here and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite little flourishy kind of show off moves that I love doing and it gets a, a lot of attention when, I, when you do do it. It's one of my favorite little things to do using my favorite little visual kind of move. It's called the Top Shot by Leonard Green. Um, and if you wanna learn the Top Shot more in detail, uh, right now before we get into this video, you can learn it from Green Magic Volume 1. And I'm sure there's other sources out there that you can learn the Top Shot from. I'll teach you it just the, it, it, not in extreme detail, uh, but if you wanna get the full details of it, do go learn the Top Shot before learning this video um, as it's a move from Leonard Green. Now with that being said, the reason I like this move so much is it's what got me into meeting David Blaine and hanging out with him for the night and having one of the best nights ever when I was a, a, a small child. And I say small child, I was like 14 or 13 or 14 or 15, something like that. Um, and the story goes like this. Now my mother, she's an architect and uh, she worked in New York City and they always would go to events and parties and things like that, show expositions. So my mom was invited to go to this architecture event uh, exhibition with furniture, I believe it was, and um, she learned that David Blaine was going to appear and do walk around magic there at the party. Now, this was obviously a very cool opportunity for me. When I heard that, I had to come, right? So she brought me along as a mother is with her, with her kids. She used to take me to Tannins every week. Uh, every Saturday, we'd go there, buy a new trick. So my mom was one of the best best that you could ask for in that regards. And she actually took me with her and sort of snuck me into this uh, uh, architecture party and, uh, and, and, and to meet David Blaine. Now, I was very shy when I was little. And I saw David Blaine across the room and I kind of just sat there eating my chips and drinking my Sprite and just kind of like watching him. <laughs> I had my deck of cards on me, of course, just in case the opportunity arose, but I would never ever think that I could actually possibly show him something. Now, at this time, my mom was very eager to have me learn as much as I can and being one of these magic moms, or I guess they call it soccer moms, right? But with the magic uh, uh, in, instead of the soccer, she grabbed me by the hand when she saw David Blaine and she took me to him right in front of him when he was surrounded by a whole group of people while he was doing magic, okay? And he was doing the tricks that everybody knows that, that he does, right? The card, uh, simple card tricks. And um, she interrupts everything and she goes, David, David, please, my son, he's a magician, he's a, a, a big fan of yours and, and uh, he wants to say hi. And I'm literally like, mom, <laughs> right? So, um, with that being said, David looks at me and says, so I've been working on this simple switch um, and uh, he, he, he's doing the simple switch, the Paul Harris simple switch was just the instant replay. Um, and I, I, I love the move um, ever since I saw him one time do it and I had to learn it. So I learned the simple switch and the only thing that I didn't like about it, not that I didn't like but I wanted to improve on, is that I want to make both of the cards come out face up, so almost like a production. Um, so instead of the two cards being flipped face down, I use the top shot as one to flip the card once and into my hand and then both cards would appear face up. It's like it was perfect timing. He came up to me and he asked, so do you work on this simple switch? Not knowing anything about me, not introducing himself, not anything like this. It was just, that was the first things out of his back. So the simple switch, you, you know this one? And he's doing it and I, and, I, and I open up my mouth. The first thing I say is like, yeah, I, I do it a little, I, a little differently. And he hands me the pack of cards right there in front of everybody and I have all these people watching me there's like a group of 20 30 people crowded around us and now we're in the middle of everything and he hands me the deck and I go oh, shit. this is not going to be good um, because at that time I was still working on my little simple switch idea with that being said I take the deck from him I do the top shot I do the simple shots and I nail it perfectly the first time I'm like oh my god so I do it again and I nail it perfectly again and and and, and David just keeps going show it to me again uh, do it again. So I keep doing it over and over and granted he was there for about 10 minutes um, before he goes we gotta go and he grabs me by the hand and he takes uh, him and his friend Lou at the time we're at this party and he takes me and he goes we're going to meet Paul Harris and he just starts dragging me and I'm like what the hell is going on? We're gonna go what do you mean we're gonna go meet Paul Harris? So he drags me through this party and he goes Mom, he's talking to my mom at this point. Mom, we're going to meet Paul Harris. And I'm just literally like, I'm, I'm going to go. Is that okay? So she obviously says yes. And she bids me farewell as I'm going off with this 
strange man and his friends who knows where and we finally get back to his apartment and who's there sleeping on the couch paul harris and he's sleeping there the lights are all shut off and david just paul wake up you have to see that paul get up and he proceeds to wake up paul harris and get him up and he go show him show him so I'm just very confused at this point, but still starstruck, right? Because, you know, my favorite magician of all time at that point, I was like, all right. I start doing it and he goes, and Paul is looking at me, that's interesting. He grabs the deck, he starts to try to play around with it and David's doing it as well. And we're all dropping cards at the same time and doing it in a threesome triangle kind of simple shot craziness. Um, and that was like one of the best things that happened to me at that point in my life because it was like, you know, two idols of mine and we were all doing my move. Um, and so every time I see David Blaine and I saw him like, you know, every once in a while after that, Alex, do the simple shot or do this, your simple switch. And you show, and he just literally stops any conversation that he has, interrupts anything just to ask to see it again. So it was a big, a big thing while I was growing up uh, in my magic world. So that's sort of my little story. That's why I like this move so much and I am eager to teach you guys and see what you guys think of it um, and what are the things you could come up with. I'll show you one thing at the end that's super knacky but I think you'll enjoy. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the simple shot. Okay, this cool little move looks something like this. There's one queen, there's two queens, and you produce the two queens, both face up. Um, it's very nice because you can actually have it very visual where it looks like they just appear out of nowhere. So there's the first one, there's the second one. So the way that this is going to work is as follows. You're going to proceed to do a top shot just like that. Now the top shot really quickly is a way to shoot out the card from the top of the deck but make it look like it's coming from the middle. Okay, now some subtleties on this that I like to do, we're not doing this move, the simple shot, uh, but just in my top shot experience is to come down with the finger like this as if it's coming out of the middle do the move and then again break with the finger okay so it looks like it's going to come out from here and then comes out and shoots into the right hand now i like this move because it comes out face up okay now really quickly the top shots just things to keep in mind that'll make it easier uh, again green magic volume one is where i learned this it's a leonard green move your pinky is going to apply pressure and push the packet down. Now remember, you are squeezing the two uh, top corners with your thumb and your first finger, and the pinky is going to squeeze it down into here. Okay, it's very important that all four have pressure on it. One, two, three, four. All right, even with the base of the thumb, so that the pinky could pull it out and kick it out. Okay, and at first it's just literally going to fall down like this. All right, that's all you're going to get at first. Uh, but in time, with a little bit of motion, it should just look like that. Okay, and you want to catch it. Uh, uh, it's going to be hard to catch it in the beginning, so I suggest that you let it just fall on the hand and then grab it. A nice little touch. Uh, but again, do learn it from Leonard Green, the master himself, on that. Now, to put it together, this is going to be the second move, and it's an instant replay move from Paul Harris. All right, and it's uh, taught in a whole bunch of places. Now, this move in itself is very nice to do just when you have one card, you show the card, and then you could place it back onto the deck like that. Okay, very nice in itself. And this is it's going to work by holding it between the third, uh, the middle finger, just like that, and the thumb. And it's going to be pushed by the first finger, and it's going to get uh, go off the thumb. So off the thumb, it goes, and it's going to flip and go back onto the deck this way. All right, so the card is here. Here, I'm gonna lift it up and off. Okay, like that. And you obviously wanna try to get it onto the deck. All right, All right so it's nice because it almost looks like, like it's magnetic onto the card. All right, so here, here, and like that, all right? So that is the instant replay move, all right? The timing is what's gonna be important on this. I'm going to do the top shot first, show the card. Now you're gonna do the move. Now here's the most important thing is the timing. As you come up, 
you're gonna do it and your hand drops back down. So without doing the top shot, that's how it's going to look. All right, here, here, and then drop down to do it, all right? All right, and this is why I'm saying it's easier to let your hand fall so that the top shot card falls into the right hand rather than try to grab it because then you're doing too many things at once and you might uh, uh, drop one or the other, all right? So top shot up, one, two, boom, boom, and hands come down, all right? And both of them just kind of appear like that, okay? Here, here, and like that, okay? Okay, so one of the knackier things to do, and uh, I don't perform this or anything, it's just something fun to play around with, is as follows. Say the two spectators uh, had the two of hearts and one had the ace of hearts. So if I do this, look, one card comes out of the center, three of hearts. Oh, yours was a two and the ace. Look, it, it makes a three. Uh, okay, look, let's try to do even better. Watch the three split into the ace and the two, uh, and there's your cards. Okay guys, so I want to talk about now the underlying theme of this story, at least for me, and it's not about how I met David Blaine or Paul Harris or the move itself. Um, it's really about my mom and how she really pushed me uh, to do what I love and, and to encourage me. Every Saturday she would take me to Tannen's Magic Shop in New York and buy me the latest effect. And at that time there were VHS tapes and get me the latest VHS tapes and really encourage me and, and, and tell me that I can literally do whatever I love and this is what I love to do, so I would not be here if it wasn't for her. So that's a special shout out to you, Mom. Thank you so much. I love you for everything that you've done. Um, and one thing that I do want to make clear in this video is something that we released on the Blue Crown, and it ties into, into something that affected my family, um, and it's the Pink Crown decks. Now, the Pink Crown decks, um, these decks are like the Crown decks that you know and love, um, with pink faces just like this, and they are meant... Uh, we did this in collaboration with a, a company from China um, and they wanted to print a pink version of the crown decks, which we did for them happily. Um, but And I got some free decks uh, from them. He, he gave me uh, some decks and instead of selling them and making money off of them, it's not very important to me. What's more important is to give back to something that affected me and, and, um, and my mom. So to give back to sort of, you know, saying thank you uh, to the universe, Every single deck that we sell, we're giving the money to charity to benefit breast cancer awareness. Um, so I won't be making any money off of this. We have just a few hundred decks left. Uh, so go ahead, link is below. Like I said, if you do um, buy this deck, just know that it does go for a good cause um, and all money will go to that. So if you enjoy giving nice little gifts to the people in your lives, especially women that are, um, you know, women can be so powerful. Uh, in family, uh, whether it be your sister, your mother, your loved one, your girlfriend, your wife, um, get something like this for the holiday season that gives them a smile on their face and we do appreciate every single order of the pink crown decks. Thankfully my mom did recover on that and she's doing perfectly fine today but it was a very very scary time and it's not the luck that that a lot of people have that go through breast cancer. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed my little story and the move and support uh, as much as you can, even if it's just one deck, I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment below, and I will see you guys next time.